everybody, it's Cassie, and today I wanted to make a video of some spooky reads. For this type time of year, everything is fall themed, spooky themed, Halloween themed. And I wanted to show you some reads that I thought would be perfect for this time of year. The first book that I have to show you is The Complete Tales and Poems by, of Edgar Allan Poe. This is the Barnes and Noble edition. I love the inside of it too. It's dark. There's some short poems in here, some very long, very long stories. I have, I think I've read one of them, but it's been a while since I've read them, but I hope to get back into this. I have some adult books here that I wanted to show you. I've read these as I was growing up through high school. I was into thrillers. That's basically all I would read besides my Archie comic books. No, I do not watch Riverdale because I feel like it takes away from the comic books. Anyways, we're not going to get into that. But do let me know if you prefer Riverdale show to the Archie comic books or the other way around. I would love to hear your opinion of the show. Let's get back into the three books by the same author. She is the queen of suspense. And I love these books. Sorry, that's my bird. You will be hearing her from time to time. But I love these books. These are my favorite, were and still are my favorite type of books to read. I've kind of branched out more. But these three books, Mary Higgins Clark, I have read a ton of her books. And there is this one book that I do not have yet. I did have, but I think I got rid of it by accident. These books are... A Cry in the Night. It is about a woman marries a man who is a painter and things are not what they seem in the household. This one is I'll Walk Alone. This was a very good read. And this one is The Lost Years. They all are very on the thriller side, the suspense side. I would stay up all night reading her books and I had school the next day. If you are into thriller suspense, I really recommend checking out Mary Higgins Clark. I, I love her books. Another adult book that I have on here, of course you are probably going to guess it, and that is still my current read, Stephen King, It. I have not gotten very far in it. I'm getting to the point where it's like, starting to get scary. I really do apologize for my bird, but she's very, very noisy. But yeah, I'm getting to a part where I want to read more, but I'm starting to chicken out a little bit, but I would just, I will get back into it. I will. Okay, so the next books I'm going to talk about are all YA. I have five of them here. Three Three of them are very well known. Two, I never see or hear anything of. They are also on my TBR, so I don't know much about them, but I wanted to put them on here anyways because they have the spooky feel Halloween vibe. But this first book I wanted to show you is by a favorite author of mine. Oh, I want to show you my dog. Look at him. Isn't he sweet? I love him. You'll be hearing him walking around, and I apologize for that, too. I'll sit him here on my lap. But anyways, the first book I want to talk about is by a very, very well-known author, and I absolutely adore her other trilogy. And this is This Savage Song by V.E. Schwab. Or no, I apologize. It is by Victoria Schwab, her YA name, not adult name. I have... This, this is on my TBR, but not for this, but I knew know what it's about, good versus evil, and evil is good, and good is evil. It's very backwards. I want to, I got this in my outcrate last year. I really wish I had gotten into it because she just, she came out with the second book, and I've heard both books are absolutely amazing. The next book I want to talk about is 
The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin. I read this book in a day. It kept me on my toes. It was, it did have the spooky vibe from how she can sense these, or cause these things to happen. And then she meets Noah and something happens with him. But this is kind of on the spooky side. It wasn't what I was expecting, but I still really, really enjoyed it. And I want to read the rest of the trilogy so bad. And the next well-known YA book that I read when it first came out, and I'm so, so glad I did. And I really need to get my hands on the next book. But this book is my absolute, absolute favorite. It, it is Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco. I got this book from the library when it first came out, read it, absolutely loved it, fell in love with it. I recommended it to my grandma, to my mom. They loved it. We talked about it forever. The pictures, the descriptions, the world was so rich, so real. I mean, it just, uh, I just like no words. I love this book so, so, so much. And I, I wish I can get the next one. I hope I can get the next one as soon as possible. She, she's one of my favorite authors just from this book alone. And I think this is her first book. And for being a first book to be published and written so well is amazing. I, I give her props. She has done her research. She is, she was, seemed so invested in the history of Jack the Ripper that it came out in her storytelling. And I gave this book five stars and I highly, highly recommend this. I could go, I can go on and on forever about that book. So if you read that book, you enjoyed it, please, please let me know, spoiler free, what you thought about it. Please, I would love to talk to somebody about it. Um, the next book I ha is on my TBR. I have not read it yet. It is um, The Unseen by Richie Cousin. It has two books in this. It's called It Begins and Rest in Peace. I, it sounds really spooky. She goes, it says she goes into a graveyard and she escapes, but she ends up having these visions and dreams. I mean, yeah, that doesn't sound spooky at all. I think it does. And the last book that I want to talk about is another book that has two books in it. And it's also on my TBR. I have not read it yet. And that is Wicked by Nancy Holder and Debbie Vigay. Sorry if I said your name wrong too. But it's about witches. Her Holly's parents passed away in a terrible accident. And she discovers some secrets and truths. And she tries to figure out what is going on in her life. So these are all the books that I highly recommend. I have read some of them, like I said. Some of them I have not. Some of them are YA, some are adult, and we have a classic. I hope, and there goes my dog. Anyways, yep, these are all the books. I hope you check them out. If you already have, let me know down in the comments. Request some Halloween spooky suspense thriller books down below for not only myself, but others to see. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.